as we reflect on the stations of the cross, let us implore God's mercy to halt the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic, to heal those who are suffering, and to make us stronger in mind, body, and faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins, sins as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preparatory Prayer Lord Jesus, as we take this journey of the cross with you today, help us to see how your sacrifice gives meaning to our own difficult times as we continue to suffer in so many ways from this worldwide pandemic. May your cross remind us that you understand our pain and will give us the strength to endure the hardships that come our way. Jesus, it was because of your great love for me that you made this journey to Calvary. I thank you for your great love. Forgive me for all the times that I have hurt you by my sins. Help me love you always and to never be separated from you. As I surrender my life to you, fill me with your love and power and bless me. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. After being whipped and crowned with thorns, the judge, Pontius Pilate, says that Jesus has to die on the cross. Pilate finds no guilt in Jesus, yet he's condemned. Jesus stands silent as the crowd calls for his death. Dear Jesus, you know what it means to stand alone in front of those who reject you and do not understand you when we are misunderstood or unjustly criticized. Help us to draw strength from you and endure it calmly. We pray for our leaders and those in power that they may be enlightened by your holy wisdom as they take important decisions and actions to contain the spread of this virus. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. Second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by our holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus is given the heavy cross to carry, he embraces it. He knows that the cross means suffering, torture, and death. But he trusts his Father's will and accepts it. Dear Jesus, it must have hurt you so much when you carry that heavy cross on your shoulder. Give us the strength to walk onward, uncrushed by whatever is placed on our shoulders. As the pandemic weighs down on many of us like a cross, help us to trust, as you did, that the Father's care will never end. When we feel afraid, help us to be brave. We ask your blessing over all those leading with the responsibility of caring for the sick in the midst of this crisis. Shield them and their families from sickness and fatigue. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross 
and pray for your mercy. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Burdened by his heavy cross, worn down by fatigue and pain, Jesus falls. Dear Jesus, you know how it feels to struggle and to fall. Help us not to fall in sin. When we happen to make mistakes and fall, Give us the grace to be truly sorry and to get back upon our feet and continue walking. Grant your strength to all those who are facing setbacks and failures in their life and tend to fall under the weight of this pandemic. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. The fourth station, Jesus meets his blessed mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your because holy, by holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. As Jesus proceeds on his way, he meets his mother. How their hearts ache as they gaze upon each other. Most loving Jesus, we thank you for the gift of your mother. Give us the grace to love your mother just as you loved her. During this time of the pandemic, we pray that the loving care of our Blessed Mother may envelop all those who suffer from sickness and their families. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. The Jews notice that Jesus is weak and might die soon, but they want him to die on the cross, not on the way. So they make a man named Simon help Jesus carry the cross. Dear Jesus, we see Simon lending his strength to carry the heavy weight of your cross. May we be eager to extend a helping hand to those who need it, especially during this time of the pandemic. We also pray for your abundant blessings over all who have helped us through our times of trouble. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. The 
sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and, pray, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Moved by Jesus' pain, Veronica's love overcomes her fear. She courageously steps forward to wipe the blood and sweat from Jesus' face. Veronica's act of compassion is rewarded and the image of Jesus' holy face gets imprinted on her cloth. We too are called to compassion. Each day offers us the opportunity to, for, to perform small acts of kindness and generosity. Dear Jesus, as we recognize your face in our neighbor and reach out to help, you imprint your holy face on each of us. Help us, like Veronica, to act with courage and choose the path of kindness. Show us how to love the people around us and to be there for those who need us. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Under the weight of the cross, Jesus is once again brought to his knees. After this second fall, Jesus' struggle to rise up again is much harder. Dear Jesus, there are times when we find it difficult to carry on and complete things. Times when we often want to give up, when we find it hard to keep going, give us the strength we need to finish our work as well as we can and to show love to others. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. station, Jesus consoles the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed the world. As Jesus draws closer to the place of execution, he encounters the woman of Jerusalem, weeping for him. But Jesus recognizes their difficulties and consoles them. Dear Jesus, you knew and felt the struggles of others. In these troubled times of anxiety, pain, and uncertainty, we pray that you console us, as you did the women of Jerusalem. Help us to reach out, console, and make a difference in the lives of our sisters and brothers who live in poverty. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by our holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus falls a third time. He must surely be completely drained now, and yet he finds the strength to rise and continue. Dear Jesus, you continued on your way to Calvary in spite of your physical weakness. Sometimes we feel overwhelmed by difficulties weaknesses and failures. Help us to know that you walk alongside us even when we feel most alone. We pray for ourselves and for all those who need strength and courage, especially in these trying times. In the face of struggles, may your love urge us on. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy.
the tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All that Jesus has is taken from him. He is stripped of his clothes and his dignity. Dear Jesus, you sacrificed everything and endured mockery for our sake. We ask you to comfort and uplift all those who are stripped of their rights and dignity and face discrimination and hatred from the society. Remind us to always value people more than possessions and to never look down on those who have less. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers drive the nails into Jesus' hands and feet. The pain he experiences is unimaginable. Jesus continues to be crucified in all who suffer in our world. The poor and the needy, the hungry and the homeless. During this time of the pandemic, dear Jesus, we lift up all those who suffer from its effects. As your followers, may we show them your compassion and be a source of hope for all our needy brothers and sisters. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus gave up his life so that we could be saved. Even as he hung on the cross in the midst of his great agony, he asks for forgiveness for those who hurt him. Dear Jesus, by your death you conquered death and won eternal life for us. Help us to live our lives for you. Give us the grace to sincerely forgive those who hurt us and be more like you. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross and placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After Jesus died, two of his friends, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, take his bo body down from the cross. They place him in the arms of Mary, his loving mother. Dear Jesus, Help us to comfort our sisters and brothers when they feel sad and alone. Teach us to see you in everybody, to be kind, loving and strong, to be like you. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. Jesus is 
is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. What looks like an ending is in fact a beginning. The death of Jesus brings new life for us. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the great sacrifice you made so that we may have life. Guide us in these difficult times. May this global crisis help us to reflect on the way we have lived so far and how we have treated nature and other forms of life. May it help us reinvent our lifestyle in order to care for nature and to honor the gift of life. We lay this petition at the foot of your cross and pray for your mercy. Concluding prayer. Dear Jesus, you're the great physician who heals us. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now, in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. As the world erupts in panic, we turn to you with hope. Calm our fears, increase our trust. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace. Help us to truly belong to you. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen.